Good morning. Um, I have been promising and promising to show how I'm doing rolling up my cheese bread, and I remembered to do it this morning. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to be on here this early. It is uh, 5.56 Central Time, so I see there is no one on here yet, but y'all can catch it later, but at least I've done the rolling up of my cheese bread. Now, I hope this isn't going to be too bumpy. Ah, good morning, Hope's Homestead. I am going to show everybody how I roll up my cheese bread this morning. I'm not going to be able to see the comments right now. I'm going to try and make sure I'm in uh, in the camera. Put a little oil on my counter. I've already rolled up some cheese bread. This is actually going to be jalapeno cheese bread. But if you wanted to just make cheese bread, oh, good morning, Carol. Um, I'm seeing a few comments pop up there, y'all. So. But anyway, uh, this is half a pound of dough. I see it's not on the camera. Um, I do at least two at a time. You know, I'm always doing fast, so. And you just, uh, this is just my regular sourdough bread, and like I said, it's a half a pound. And I've had my jalapenos, um, let me see if I move this way. No, that goes out of the camera view. Let me see if I move this way. It's backwards, you know. Let me see. Hey, Sherry, good morning. I'm surprised I have a few people here. It's kind of early today. Anyway, this is what I do. And look, I wanted to tell y'all that at 7.30 Central Time, I'm going to be on Southern Mama's Coffee Break. And I would love it if y'all would join me. Now, first, I'm going to put the jalapenos. And like I said, if you don't want jalapenos, don't put them. Just do the cheese. And I've, you see that I've had them straining where it won't have a, too much liquid on there. I guess you can't see what I'm doing, can you? I think I might have had the last bread a little hot. <laughs> but it was good. like that and then I'm going to take just like a handful of cheese and just give it a good covering like that I'm going to put a little bit more and I guess I should measure this but I just kind of eyeball it it don't matter if it's messy I learned how to make this cheese bread from Sherry at 7D Farms. And um, she actually puts hers in a loaf. But I don't put mine in a loaf because I have already at like, <clears throat> I guess, three or four different breads that I put in a loaf pan. So I decided I would do it a little bit different, just where people won't get confused about the bread. Okay, now I'm going to pat this down like that where when I start rolling my cheese won't start falling out it'll fall out some but not bad you're gonna take your bread and you're gonna try and stretch it over just a little bit just like you're making a cinnamon roll or jelly roll and then I've got my end right there I'm gonna pinch it and I'm just gonna lay my log right there and get this other one done you can't stretch it too much my, my dough is a little on the moist side this morning so, some days it's different than other days. You just can't ever tell. Okay, then I'm going to take this wonderful, wonderful bread uh, blade or scraper. And then you're going to cut it in half. I guess you're going to be able to see this. Maybe I'll do it this way. If I can do it even. Sometimes I get kind of catawonkus on there and don't do it real even. And you cut it like this. And then you're going to, I turn it over, and I pinch my ends really good together. And then I'm just giving it a single twist, like that, and then I'm going to pinch that end together. And you see all your cheese is exposed, your jalapenos are exposed. Let me see if I can pull this up. So, there you have it. That's how I'm doing it.
and I just love the way that cheese tastes <clears throat> that's on the top. It'll get nice and brown. It is it just it just tastes wonderful. And yes, I have been tasting, even though I've been gluten free, I've had pretty good success of being able to eat my sourdough this year. I still try not to eat it um, every day. But I have been eating it. That's what I this is the uh oh I guess you can't see my pan. I raised my dough in my pan here, and I've already measured out my little half pounds right there. So, okay, you know what? I, well, I go. I'll go ahead and roll up these two, and then I'll look at the comments, and then I gotta run because I have lots of bacon to do today. I'm gonna. Uh, start all my egg custards as soon as I get all my bread made. I need to put a little bit more of this strain in. That was a quick straining job. Not a very good one either. What I do is I, uh, I have a little shredder that was my mama's that I use. I love it. Let me show you. Which I know they have attachments for KitchenAid and stuff like that now and for food processors. But I can I shred my cheese right into my Ziploc. I guess if you can see I'm using a Ziploc bag that I have my cheese in and I love it. But this is all there is to it. And, you know, I'm using sourdough, but you don't have to use sourdough. You can use whatever bread recipe that you like. You know, I mean, the only thing that would hold you back is a bread recipe that was had a lot of oil in it. But I'm going to tell you, my sourdough has a good bit of oil. So I really think any bread recipe, if you wanted to do whole wheat or something like that, you could do that with this bread. And you could change up your cheeses, too. This is a, a mild cheddar. Sherry had commented uh, when she made it that uh, she found that it had a better taste than the sharp. Or that it kept the taste better. I can't remember. And I would, I would have to agree with her. I'm really liking the taste of it. It's, a, it's especially good right out of the oven. Sometimes I just can't resist. I'm going to tell you, with the jalapeno bread... It, see how much it's fallen over? It falls over a lot more with it, and I guess it's because of the moisture in it. But um, the cheese bread doesn't fall open quite as much. So, and see, this one's a little smaller than this one, but we just roll with the flow and just do it. And you see I've got different shapes over here. The first two are longer. <laughs> the second two are shorter. But these are going to rise up taller. These are going to rise up longer. So no big deal. It's just when things are handmade, they don't turn out perfectly. Okay, let me see. Remember how to do the comments. Oh, sorry. There they are. Let's see. Let me go. Oh, wow. There's a lot of y'all on here. Oh, Hope said she's up preparing for the show. I have this on a tripod. That's why I'm moving my head back and forth because the little thing is right there. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about being on the show. I already mentioned it one time. I'll mention it again at 730 Central. That's in about an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to be uh, on um, Southern Mama's Coffee Break. So, anyway, I, want, I hope that y'all can join us. Let me see. Uh, uh, let's see. Pia says very early. <laughs> Here. Oh, 4 a.m. Oh, my goodness. How are you up so early? Well, I shouldn't say that. I've been up since 4.30, so woke up on my own, too. I like to do that and not um, um, wake up to an alarm. Yeah, Sherry, it's uh, made with my sourdough. I already answered that. I'm sure you knew, heard me say that. But anyway, I just thought I'd say it again. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Pia, saying I'm a great baker. Thank you, Carol. And good morning, Bandana Grandma. Oh, golly, y'all are, yeah, a lot of y'all are up. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I agree, Hope, uh, Cherish, that would be good with, uh, and see, I want to call you Hope all the time. I'm sure I'm not the only person that does that. Um, but, yeah, it would be good with Pepper Jack, you're right. Yeah, now, then I wouldn't have to do the uh, jalapeno, so, huh. I don't know, I might have to look at that. Uh, okay, well, anyway, thank y'all for joining me. I can't believe so many of y'all are here. Um, I'm going to get on to my next thing, uh, and I'll see y'all at 730. Y'all have a great day.